So I took this idea from watching Peter's tutorial on making a torus knot in Modo and I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look at that video, it's very interesting. So in Wings 3D right click and go to torus and choose the options and you want the sections and slices to be in a ratio of 3 to 2 so that would be 12 and 8 for example. Other values will work uh, but if you change the ratio from 3 to 2 then you get different effects. Something to experiment with but this one gives us the torus knot. So I'll go OK, then select the entire object, go to face mode, right click and inset just an arbitrary amount and then right click again and collapse. Then with these vertices still selected, go to edge mode, selection, inverse and hit the delete key so you've got this effect. Select any edge, hit the G key, go to face mode, right click, shell extrude, hold the control key down, normal and take it out to distance of 0.2 and then I'm just going to hide the original torus so you can see now we've got this rough torus knot shape space to deselect everything go to edge mode and select an edge use G and then L for loop right click and circularize and you can use that to broaden that out a bit and then I'm going to select inverse so I've got these outer edges selected and then right click and bevel and just bevel them down slightly sometimes it doesn't even visibly bevel but it will allow you to do it ever so slightly so that when you select the entire object and hit the S key for smooth it divides it up in this way space to deselect back in edge mode I want the one two three four outer edges here L for loop do it a couple of times to make sure it go, does go all the way around switch to face mode and then go select and store selection so we're in face mode and we've stored the selection now right click and shell extrude normal only take it out a slight amount because the geometry can be a bit wonky in the inside there and then when you've done that use plus to extend that selection and then right click again and extrude not shell extrude this time just normal extrude and fatten that up a little bit and then hit smooth once and twice and then go selection inverse so these are the faces on the inside that we can't see if I hide the original one that we've just extracted this from you'll see that they are now selected and you can go right click and turn those into a hole because that's unnecessary geometry for what we're doing so I have take these new shapes that I've created right click and I'm going to combine them in their entirety so use the entire selection body selection to one object and I can rename that object Taurus Outer okay and hide it and that one is I'll bring that back that's the original Taurus well I might as well just delete that and then I'm going to work on this inner section now so this is the inner section go back into face mode I can use select and a recall selection and then right click and hole because I don't need those bits of geometry either select the entire thing go to face mode right click and inset those faces a little bit and zoom in so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to right click again and extrude normal and just take those in a little bit like so and then inset again stop that and then collapse those faces go back to face mode so I'm just creating some interesting structure and inset those just a little bit again and then intrude the whole lot to give them some thickness like so so that's created sort of a scaffolding effect space to deselect everything and then I can select that here and rename it uh, Taurus outer for Bryce I don't need to separate using materials it'll do it through the separate components octane however needs the material separating so if I Make sure I've got the. Oh, I've called them both outer. Have I managed that? Okay, call that inner. <sighs> right. So if I want to give that a different material, uh, I need to have it in face mode. Right click, right click on material and call that inner. Okay. Okay. And then select the outer. Still in face mode. Right click, right click on material and call that outer. I'll change the color of that make it a dark gray so with that separation then I would be able to pick those out 
in Octane as well. So there you go, that's the end of the video. I hope you found that interesting and that you'll have a go at making this sort of shape in Wings 3D and also do have a look at uh, Peter's uh, YouTube channel and uh, his tutorials here because even though they're for Modo there it might give you some ideas for doing things in Wings 3D or if you're using Modo then it's a great channel to watch. Cheers now!